Thinking about buying a car, a house, or even starting your own business? For more and more Egyptians, the new place to turn is their nearest Islamic bank. To keep in line with Islamic law, the banks cannot invest in haram or forbidden sectors. This includes such areas as pornography, arms, alcohol and pork products, and they also prohibit the charging of interest. It may be a far cry from the traditional banking model, but Islamic finance is booming. Without a doubt, Islamic finance is doing very well at the moment. After the economic crisis, everyone started looking at Islamic finance, asking how they were able to protect themselves. We studied the system to know how they stayed successful. And it is that question that many have been asking, especially now it has swelled to a one trillion dollar a year industry. The broader principle of Islamic finance means banks share both gains and losses with their customers a flexibility that has proved increasingly popular. A bank may provide money for someone to buy an asset, but will agree a profit ratio whether money is made or not. Some customers may be taken with the idea, but not everyone is convinced. If I have savings in a commercial bank and the interest rate is fixed, for me, as a Muslim, that could be illicit. So I prefer Islamic banks, where the interest rate goes up and down according to the project's success. I have tried Islamic banks. Their interests are 50% less than other banks. I don't understand how. That's why I prefer traditional banks. And with hundreds of Islamic banks now spread across more than 50 countries, the future looks bright for the new face on the high street.